For the astronauts of Apollo 17, Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt exploring the lunar surface, Ron Evans circling the moon in the command module America, there were few opportunities for reflection as they carried out the final mission of the United States' first program of human lunar exploration. Apollo 17 represented a final opportunity for hands-on human investigation of the moon and its environs, as the people of Earth moved imperceptibly, except in retrospect, from one era to another. The rare nature of that opportunity was translated into an intense program of activity for Cernan and Schmidt, who would spend three days exploring the surface, and for Evans, who would conduct extensive scientific research during his time in lunar orbit, a total of 147 hours and 48 minutes, a new record for the longest time any human being has spent in orbit around the moon. The flight began at 12.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 7, 1972, with the first ever night launch of a manned U.S. spaceflight. Cernan and Schmidt made their way to the lunar surface on December 11, Cernan landing the Apollo 17 lunar module Challenger on a flat plain amid three steep mountain peaks in the moon's taurus Littrow Valley. Over the course of the next three days, they made three long, arduous treks across the lunar surface, traveling both in the lunar roving vehicle and on foot while collecting 253 pounds of carefully chosen, carefully documented lunar rocks and soil samples. Evans, meanwhile, completed a photographic study and a remote sensing survey of the moon's geological features. The aggregate data and scientific observations gathered by the Apollo 17 crew would aid the work of Earth-bound scientists for generations and, combined with the information gathered by their fellow Apollo explorers, would ultimately help to expand the very idea of what technology might enable human beings to do. As the mission progressed and Cernan and Schmidt worked feverishly to complete their assigned tasks, which proved a serious challenge even in spite of the relatively long period they spent on the surface, Necessity dictated that thoughts of high ideals and lofty goals take a back seat to the concentration required to complete the tasks at hand. Then, near the end of the third and final EVA of the final Apollo lunar landing, there came a moment that had from the beginning been designed to allow everyone involved with the effort, as well as all those following along across the blue expanse of Earth, some quarter million miles away, a moment to stop and reflect on the wonder and awe of the entire Apollo idea. Cernan, the veteran commander given the honor of being the last to tread among the lunar dust as the first era of lunar exploration came to a close, unveiled a small plaque that had been installed on the descent stage of the lunar module. He read the inscription, Here man completed his first exploration of the moon. December 1972 A.D. May the spirit of peace in which we came be reflected in the lives of all mankind. Then, in recognition of the moment, and the fact that his words would carry through space and time, from the moon to the earth, and from the Apollo era to some distant future moment, when some new adventurer would set out to return, Cernan added, This is our commemoration that will be here until someone like us, until some of you who are out there, who are the promise of the future, come back to read it again and to further the exploration and the meaning of Apollo. <laughs>